taking on the tobacco industry and targeting its marketing tactics. That's the focus of a new ad campaign we first told you about last week. Tonight, a Madison County woman explains how she quit and the shocking age she started. Tonight, she's sharing her story to educate other families and protect your children from the dangers of smoking as we focus on your family here in Central New York. It's been 37 years since Tammy Woji out of Munsville picked up her first cigarette. And I picked it up and smoked it, <laughs> smoked the rest of it. It was a half smoked, still lit cigarette a family friend tossed on the ground. Whenever I saw a cigarette lit on the ground, I would just pick it up and smoke it. As a child? As a child, and it continued, yeah. Tammy was just five five years old when she took her first puff. And, and then eventually I was to the point where I had to have one. By 19, she was addicted, smoking two packs a day from the moment she woke up. I didn't even have my head up and I was reaching for my cigarettes. To the moment she went to bed, there was never a time she wasn't reaching for a smoke. Without one, she would get shaky and pounding headaches. I had to have that fix, you know what I'm saying? She knew it was dangerous, but didn't care. Tammy spent the next five years in a cloud of smoke, and by the age of 24... The coughing was horrible. Just, I sounded awful. It was clear her choices were taking a toll. I could not breathe. I was choking, um, and I just took a step back and said, what am I doing to myself? That day, she picked up her carton of cigarettes, tossed them in the trash, and never looked back, quitting cold turkey. I was afraid. I was afraid of what was happening to me at that point, and I wasn't going to do it anymore. Fast forward to today, and Tammy is a 42-year-old mother. Her daughter, Kat, is 13, just a teenager, and she says she's well aware the tobacco companies are targeting her. This new generation is just a replacement for the old generation of smokers. Today, more than 90% of tobacco marketing dollars. The average age of a new smoker here in New York is 13. And now Tobacco Free CNY is launching a provocative new ad campaign, taking on big tobacco and the way it says it markets to kids. The online ads feature cigarettes on a birthday cake and a box of crayons filled with cigarettes. The smokers pass are passing away faster than they can find replacement smokers. And nine out of 10 adult smokers started before age 18. So the industry knows they have to get young people to start smoking. Here in New York, Big Tobacco spends $500,000 a day advertising and marketing tobacco products at the point of sale specifically at places like convenience stores where 75% of teens like Kat Wojciat shop at least once a week. Learning from her mother's mistakes, Kat is now part of a group called Reality Check, a youth-led movement aimed at exposing the deceptive marketing practices of the tobacco industry. They visit stores that sell tobacco products to see where they're placed and where tobacco ads are located. Now, nearly four decades after she picked up her first cigarette. I think, how stupid was I? Tammy hopes her story serves as a wake-up call to parents, saying kids are watching what you're doing. She's living proof, after all, and now picks up half-smoked, lit cigarettes like the one she stumbled upon at age five, and tosses them in the trash. Because I'm just afraid that little kids will start picking it up and doing the same thing I did, mm -hmm. because it's there. Now, every year, more than 22,000 young people start smoking just in New York State. It's an a lot. Yeah, it is. An estimated 5.6 million kids who are alive today will die prematurely from smoking, including 280,000 here in New York State. So that's really, you know, the, the message from this ad campaign. They're trying to prevent those deaths. Remarkable how she quit. She said, I'm going to quit, and she did it. Cold turkey. Yeah. I mean, which is very, very hard to do, but hard to believe that she started at five. Mm. Still ahead, new at six tonight. A dangerous.